Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have got The Warlord by Jenna Showalter. So this book was... This book was very saucy in this book. Let's just say that this was a book that I wouldn't go for at all. This is a book that I got from Enchanted Fandom, which Enchanted Fandom is now bringing books to their boxes, which I find intri really, really interesting because I get to try bo books that I would not go for. So like I said, I would not go for this book at all. Not from the, um, the cover at all. But the book, it was some saucy ass action in there. Okay, let me tell you that. There was some, oof. So this is the wallet. So at the beginning it says 30 days to wed a virgin, 30 days to sacrifice her, 30 days to resist temptation. That's exactly like that, but there is some still, um, there is still bits until it got to the part. <laughs> So, the hardback is literally just black, and the spine is this nice silver colour. We did get a signed author letter, and a signed plate, book plate. In his is, for centuries, Talia Skyhawk has prepared for becoming a harbour general, leader of the deadliest fem female army in the sixth sense. One of the requirements is to remain a virgin. But for a chance to save her people, she must wed the fearless leader of the astral planet, Alaric uh, Pathon. Pathon. This time has come for Rock to sacrifice another virgin bride to his god. There has never been a woman alluring enough to tempt him from his path, and no warriors are powerful enough to overcome his incredible strength. No enchantress desire desirable enough to make him burn beyond reason until now. With the clock ticking, a war between husband and wife ignites. Except, Talia has never expected the merciless king to chance the future she once envisioned. She certainly never anticipated the thrill of their battles. Turning to games, this what problem is, only one spouse can survive. So before I get into the little tabs, <clears throat> this book basically was going through saying, so she was, it talks about um, Talia going through the school, being a harpy general and everything like that until her people was captured by rock um and she says yes i will wed you and his rules are that she can't do anything else she's not allowed to do anything she's not allowed to lose her virginity she he has to want to lose it um but he has temptation so she has to stay like it for it but there were some juicy scenes where he would attack her but in the way where he's not allowed to take it away from her that doesn't make sense but kind of i can't tell you the words because i might get dip on it demonetized on that so oops so the first tab is something this one here i believe it was just never accept a pitch of defeat i don't know if that was actually what the one <laughs> lol but yeah, so it was like reading something about pick a poison kind of thing, and she said never accept a picture of defeat. That's something you would put on like some an art print or something. The next one is is how she introduced herself. She goes well. She doesn't do it just yet. She goes because I'm Talia Skyhawk, and nothing will rob me rob me of my birthright. I was like, yes, that is how you do it. But this next piece is how she introduced herself to Rock. And I was like, yes, that is how you do it. So it's literally on page 34, she goes, Allow me to introduce myself, she announced. I'm Talia, the terror of all lands, the cold-hearted, the enemy of enemies. My hobbies included listening to the screams of my foes, collecting the bones I sever, and avenging the deaths of my people. That's how she introduced herself to Rock. I was like, uh, yes. That is some badass bitch right there who's literally taken the win. And she, throughout the story... She is trying to make Rock take her, um, and um, even though his temptation is getting there and he's like, no, I can't, he's getting to the point where she's getting so temptations that he wants her more and more. Um, and then at the end, they're trying to see if they could um, not sacrifice each other. Um, so she sacrificed herself for him, um, so she died, but then she came back. And she has this kind of power. I was like, oh, second book of luck coming here. Because they said next time. 
we're gonna help her find see what other power she is from because now she can like teleport i believe or something like that and i was like oh hello there but let's get into little things that i have written down um tally is everything you expected to a bad ass harpy fierce fiery she never backs down she definitely made it she was like a great match for rock definitely something like this Rock is so hard um, and ruthless and vicious. And because of this, some of his actions at the beginning of the story, I wasn't sure that I would like him. I, at first, I was th thought that Rock was such an ass because of the way he was. But throughout the story, I was like, okay, I kind of get where he's going from now. And he's actually like cold down almost. Of course, the way he feels about Talia and the way he treats her further in the story adds to his appeal. His pride and respect for Talia are fantastic. Um... This is an action, suspense, romance, betrayal, gods, harpy, phantoms, there's shapeshifters in this book. There's some supernatural characters, so I cannot wait to find out. I believe this is, there is a second book coming out um, of this series. Um, and there is still... Oof. Okay, there you go. Yeah, the first book of Showwaters is a series of Rise of the Warlords. I did actually put it down. This is the first book of the Showwaters new series, Rise of the Warlords. It is the spin of the Lords of the Underworld series. So there is going to be a definitely another book to it, but I am looking forward to it. So this was some romance in it, some holy, there was some, you know, like I said, yeah, holy cutness about my mate. There were some scenes that you'll be like, oh my god, I've got to shut that book a minute. I'm like, take a deep breath and then re and then have to go and read it again. She may accept what she cannot change and never change what she can accept. This is a literally a good book if you love the Lord of Underworld, Underworld, uh, the Underworld series. So, I've never read anything from Jenna, but this book was definitely something I want to read more of. I'm not a big fan of romance types like these. Um, but, thank you, Intern Fandom, for helping me read a book that I would not go for, you know. Lovers of Paranormal Romance will also enjoy this one. And, it was so intriguing to read. So, thank you guys for watching this, um, and I hope you guys enjoyed, because this book was definitely a book to enjoy, if you're into that kind of stuff. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.